In this video, we'll see how to edit a team hierarchy which is already created. When I say edit a team hierarchy, what does it mean is when a team hierarchy is created, who are the members of the project or who are the members of the team hierarchy? What are their roles? What are their permissions? What is the timeline? Everything can be modified here. So let us see now. If I want to edit a team hierarchy, I should be the team hierarchy administrator. So right now administrator so i'll i have put the url is rm because i found a shortcut method to log into that requirement management rm means requirement management i'll put the username and password as the pavan l because he is the project uh, you can say steam hierarchy admin so i'll type here as pavan l and the password as pavan l once i press enter i'll get this uh, window here where there are all the projects now what i want is i want to modify the hsbc team hierarchy so i have to click on this manage project area once I click on this manage project area, you see on the right hand side there is team hierarchy. Uh, you can see a team area hierarchy. So if I click on this business analyst team, if you see on the right hand, left hand side, it says overview, roles, permissions, process description and so on. There is a history option. So here it says you can change the name of the team. Okay. Here you can change the summary. Also you can see you can add some few members if you want still. Let's say here I have added three members. If I want to add members, I will just click on this add and I can add the members. So I'll just click on cancel. I do not want to add. I can make some few more administrators of this team hierarchy. Similarly, this was which you have seen when we have created. But now if you observe here, right now, this people, this users have no process roles. If you want to assign some process roles, what you can do is you can just select this, uh, you know, checkbox. Let's say if all three, if you want, you want to assign some role, what you can do is you select this three, click on this small drop down and if you see this add process role to three members what is the process role you want they are just the members if you click on add process role to three members which process roles you want administrator author commentator or configuration administrator so i'll say i want as the author i, I don't want anything else click on add so if you see all these people all this user have got process role as author itself similarly you just make sure you keep on saving that thing whatever you do okay next is as a team hierarchy uh, manager or you can say administrator, you can also define new roles. When I say define new roles, you can create your own roles. Project admin, this admin, that admin, you can just click on this plus sign and you see that's a new role. What is the new role you want? I'll say as BA, business analyst, let's say. So I can just type the name, okay, identify name and I can write some description here. Okay, so this is the way I can do business analyst and click on save. So this way I've created one more role that is BA and that will be reflected at this place itself. So when I click on this overview, okay, if I click on this checkbox, add process role, add process role. So you see there's a BA which is given here. So there you define the role and here the role will be displayed itself. So I'll just click on cancel, not a required. Similarly, there are some few options which are permissions, which role should be given, which permission. So for example, if you see, Permissions show by role that is everyone BA administrator. Now I'll just give you one example. You'll try to understand if I click on this administrator and these are different roles given here permissions for administrator. Now if I say click on this manage baselines, I want to see what is the role or what is the permission for this administrator in this manage baseline. So I'll just click on this button here edit button and it says the permissions are denied the minus sign. It means it is denied. Okay, so what I can do is I can select this option, edit, and I can say as pass everybody. Okay, so I'll get give uh, the admin itself. So it will say as you have all the permission self. So I'll just minimize that. Now if I select this permission, this role as commentator, okay, and I go back to this place, this one manage baselines, and if I click on this checkbox here, it says there are no permissions defined. So I'll just click on cancel. One more example, if I click on this configuration administration, now you see the difference. Here if I click on this place and you see he has all the permissions. If you want to deny all the permissions, still you can deny all the permissions. So as a team area hierarchy manager, administrator, you can give some permissions or you can remove some permissions from here. Okay. So if you want to remove the permissions, I will say as negative. So all this will become as negative. Okay. Okay. So this configuration administrator person will have no permissions in managing the baselines. So this way you can modify as per your requirement. And the last one you have that is the process description which is given here. If you want to create a new process descriptions or if you want to modify anything. And the last one is history. What are the changes made in the team area hierarchy? So these are the 
changes made that is the role assignments we have done also we have changed the admin name and so on so everything is mentioned here so you, this way you can keep a track on your team hierarchy so i hope you have understood when you create a team area hierarchy how do you modify assign some roles as create some business roles and manage some permissions that's all for this video